Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello, my friends. This is Kevin from Personal Tutors back again, bringing to you a very beautiful poem by the author that is Harry Behn. He is a famous poet writing poems for kids. It comes from the sixth standard Honeysuckle English Literature Book from CBSC NCRT syllabus, and the title here is the kite my friends you all must have seen a kite you must have flown it during the various festivals here in India you must have designed it in your assignments in the school you would have taken it and nowadays you get quite numerous types of kites that are either having designs of the Avengers, the cartoon characters, that is the Chota Bheem and all things, the Mighty Rahachu, Pokemon, what else my friends? There are paper kites, there are kites made with clothes, there are silk kites, there are plastic sheets of kites and numerous types of them. Don't you think that it would be a good thing to buy a new kite today? Well my friends, since it's a beautiful poem about the beauty of a new kite and the happiness that one has, the way it flies up in the air it comes down just like a ship my friends that sails over the waves of wind let's take a metaphor here by reading the poem how bright on the blue is a kite when it's new with a dive and a dip it snaps its tail then soars like a ship with only a sail how bright on the blue is a kite when it's new. Well, a new kite when flying up in the sky looks so shiny in the sunlight and so bright that it looks totally different in the blue clear sky. With a dive and a dip it snaps its tail. It dives, it dips, its tail gives out an ocean behind it, it snaps out and then soars like a ship with only a sail. It soars up like a ship with only a sail that is it has got a sail that goes up there and it actually rows itself on the waves of cool breeze and the air up there my friends as over tides of wind it rides, climbs to the crest of a gust and pulls, then seems to red as wind falls. As over tides of wind it rides, the waves of winds as I have said, the tides is the waves, the motion of water. The poet here correlates the tides with the waves of wind and depicts that this kite is actually a ship that is sailing on the beautiful waves of the wind up there. Climbs to the crest of a gust and pulls then seems to rest as wind falls when string goes slack you wind it back. Climbs to the crest of a gust and pulls once you pull it and it finds air up there, my friends, it straight goes up there to the highest points available. It actually seems to rest as wind falls. Once a gust of wind comes, our kite goes up there, my friends, and as the wind falls, it seems to be stationary. Haven't you seen somebody flying a kite? You must have seen it, my friends your parents, your elders, your elder brother and sister flying a kite, you yourself would also have been flying it my friends but I request you to be very 
very cautious wear proper gloves take care of your hands because when you fly a kite the string is quite sharp and it may harm your beautiful little fingers my friends when the string goes slack you wind it back while flying the kite when the string slacks it starts to slack my friends it starts to give a curve you quickly wind it back you've got a big notion a roller on which you string it don't you remember well i do i used to do that so when the string goes slack that is the axis of the string goes you immediately pull it back you wind it back it's just like winding a machine my friends and run until the new breeze blows and its wings fill and up it goes once the string is slacked you pull it until it's tight and you again get a flow of wind my friends and then it wings fill the wings of the kite they fill out with air and then again up it goes so that's the notion of flying a kite it's beautiful how bright on the blue is a kite when it's new once again it goes up and shines out brightly in the sky since it's new but a ragada thing you'll never see you never will see when it flaps on a string in a top of a tree oh my god now here the poet explains my friends the ragada the ragada means the ragness the rag the doll the untidiness that we usually never see of this beautiful thing is when it gets entangled in the trees in branches or any wires or something like that it usually gets entangled and torn that is the sight that is less common well during certain festivals my friends you can see them being torn stuck in trees or wires or electricity bills or poles or something like that my friends that's the condition what our dear poet here also explains so this was a sweet poem for sweet friends of mine like you from standard 6th honey circle syllabus to the left of mine you'll find a link this perma link directly sends you to the playlist that we have created that has got other videos and explanations for your help to the right here you'll get a link to the associated videos that you can view for your understanding my friends so subscribe to our channel for more information and please do comment thank you very much